Autumn is here and so is time for all of my fall recipes. On today's menu, I'm going to be making a grilled pork tenderloin with a caramelized onion and apple confit served with sunchoke puree and blistered green beans with black garlic. Yes, black garlic. If that is something you're not familiar with, don't shy away from this recipe. You can find it at your local markets and I'm going to show you how to use it today. The first thing we're going to do is make the caramelized onion and apple confit because while that is cooking, I can prep my next ingredient on the dish which is the pork tenderloin. In the order that I make this dish is the order that you should make this dish. It will come together at the same time. That's what I'm hoping. That's what we all are hoping that our food comes together at the same time. So follow me, follow these steps and let's get started. So your pointer finger and thumb, you're gonna pinch here, middle finger, like this, okay? Here I have some tarragon. If you are unfamiliar with tarragon, it is a very mild licorice flavor. Uh, this is a flavor that not all people like, my husband being one of them, but I absolutely love it. So this is um, gonna go as a garnish at the very end on top of the confit. I actually might mix it in. I changed my mind. I'm going to mix it in to the caramelized onions and the apple when it's done cooking because it's extremely delicate. I don't want to cook this. I just want to fold it in at the very, very end and let it infuse slowly. So I'm just gonna set that aside and going to then start caramelizing those onions.
Here I have two pork tenderloins. Um, they need to be cleaned. This is called sinew or other known as silver skin. So we need to clean that off. The reason being is because it is a connective tissue and that connective tissue is very tough. You do not want to eat it. So to take this off, this is just a tiny little piece. So I'm just gonna get underneath this skin here. Notice how I pick it up. I'm trying not to get as this meat. So to avoid getting all the meat, I hold this up. So I lift and kind of scrape against it. Just very slightly so it ends up with little to no meat on the silver skin because you can't eat that. So that's going to go in the trash. I have a few more. I can just kind of slowly get that off there. Here we are underneath. Slice away from you. Always. There we are. Okay, so this is clean. This is just fat. I'm going to leave that on. This is a pretty lean cut, so I don't want to trim off too much fat. There's not very much fat on it anyways. So I've got a wide area here. I'm going to start where it is not as wide. So all of this I need to clear off. I can see where the connective tissue is. All of this right here is the connective tissue. So I'm going to come underneath just like I did in the other one. Slice away from you. Hold it up. So this is what I'm trying to get off here. Underneath. Pick this up. Hold it. Slice. Remember you're trying to go against the sinew, not the meat. So you're going to come up against the silver skin. Try to avoid the meat. Just lift it up and scrape one slice. See how it's not getting the meat? It's just picking up that silver skin. Very nice and clean. Meat untouched. Again, make sure your blade is really nice and sharp. Nice. Starting to get a little bit. That's okay. It happens. Just don't show the chef. Because <laughs> if he sees, he might get in trouble. Alright. Up. Here we are. Nice and clean. Look at that. Not any meat on there. Okay, here we are. Nice and clean. Nice and clean. Okay, almost done. Got one more. It's actually kind of meditative. <laughs> if you don't mind handling proteins. So nice and clean. Like so. Put that aside. Eh, I got a little bit here. Sure, why not? Pick it up. You just have to have a delicate hand. You don't need to, I'm not really putting any pressure at all on this. I'm just simply lifting and with a sharp knife, delicately slicing. If you take a heavy hand to this, you're likely going to cut into the actual muscle, which you don't want to do. Are you gonna pay for that meat? You wanna be able to eat it. So this is nice and clean. I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, I felt a little piece of bone there. I don't want to eat that. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up the other two. Then season all sides with salt and pepper. Throw it on the grill.
So now the caramelized onion and apple confit is finished. So the next thing I'm gonna do is grill the pork tenderloin. This is room temperature, remember, I've already seasoned it with salt and pepper and um, olive oil. It's extra virgin olive oil, so it's lighter. It's not the dark, just straight olive oil, which has a low smoke point. You want something that's a clear oil. Uh, canola, um, I like sunflower oil also. Uh, this is just extra virgin light. So I'm gonna grab some tongs, and I want a really nice diagonal diamond shape here. So I'm gonna put my meat, I'm only gonna sear probably two, maybe three, at a time make sure that there's space in between because otherwise it's gonna start to steam and then you're not gonna get that caramelization and that color and, and the you know design that you want so I'm gonna go ahead and add that in here you want to hear that sizzle right because if it's not sizzling then it's not doing anything you want it to do don't touch the meat. Once you put it in, just leave it alone. If you touch it too early and you pick it up, it's just going to rip and then you're going to ruin your presentation. So I'm going to leave it here I'm, and I'm going to add a little bit of oil because it does seem a little dry. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. There we go. I also have my oven at uh, about 350 because after I'm done searing on all sides, getting those beautiful diamond marks. I am then going to finish it in the oven until the internal temperature reads 145 degrees. All right, so the pork tenderloin is done. I've grilled all four sides. It's looking fabulous. I'm gonna put it in the oven, uh, 350 for about 15 minutes. I'm gonna take it out and then I'm going to check it and uh, see if the temperature reads 145. So when uh, you're checking the temperature, make sure you stick it into the thick side and about two inches in. Otherwise, it's gonna be an accurate reading. So go ahead, do that. Once you check it, it's 145, you're gonna take it out and I'm going to remove the pork, let it rest, and then make the sauce. Once that's done, I'm going to do the um, sunchuk puree and the blistered green beans. So uh, stay tuned for that. And yeah, go ahead and get started on all of those things.
there you have it, your grilled pork tenderloin with a caramelized onion and apple confit with a sun choke puree and blistered green beans and black garlic. I hope you guys enjoyed this menu and put it in your back pocket for any time you want a really nice warming meal. Also, it's a great um, decision if you guys want to switch it up and not do turkey, you could always do a pork tenderloin instead for Thanksgiving. Uh, if you liked what you saw, subscribe to my channel, make a comment if there's something that you would like me to show you how to cook, and I hope I see you guys here again soon. Take care.